Coming up, lawmakers are voting on a bill that could have drivers increasing their speed. We'll have a report on what's next in that battle between the mayor and city council over Pittsburgh Fire Company. The Allegheny County Commissioner stormed Capitol Hill looking for federal funds. The story from Washington. And a local group prepares to rock its way to fame. Hello, I'm Patty Burns. I'm Ray Tannehill. My witness to you at 6 is next. Just ahead, Bob has the forecast. And in the Lifestyle Report, a local band gets ready to go after the big time with a new video. Well, they hail from Homer City, Penn Hills, Wampum, and West Mifflin. And they used to be coal miners, railroad workers, and college students. But as Mary Rob Jackson reports tonight in Lifestyle, one local rock band is out to make it to the big time. What's in a name? Well, success with a local band called 18 Names has anything to do with it. After five years of paying their dues playing the bar circuit, they are out to grab the brass ring with their new album, Armed and Ready, and a first-class video showcasing the title tune. cost $30,000 to make and was shot last November at the Palace Theater in Greensburg. Okay, ready to roll sound, roll sound. Here we go. Shooting on 35 millimeter film with state-of-the-art sound and visual equipment, special lighting effects and fog machines, the band, their fans, and the technical crew spent two non-stop days to get it right. But the hope is the video will be the springboard they need to make it to the big time. And tonight, 18 Names celebrates the preview of their new album and video here at Top Charlie's in Monroeville with a big bash. To say they're excited is an understatement. We were pretty comfortable for a long time. We were very, very lucky to be successful and have very loyal fans that come to see us at all our gigs. And we played in clubs for the past four years. But now, putting together you know, the video and the album package, we're sort of going out on the limb. Bankrolling the album and video took the savings of all five band members plus a little help from family and friends. Yeah. But to make it in the rock music biz together, these days you know, takes that kind yeah. of commitment. You know, a lot of the record companies right now, they're not even picking people up that, that don't have it. I think it's of quality compar comparable to anything you see on MTV and anything you hear on the charts. getting the right exposure and distribution, but their power-packed performance in Armed and Ready may be just the ticket. For Lifestyle, Mary Rob Jackson, KDK TV, I'll witness you. 18 Names' new album is already getting airplay on City Rock Station. And that is it for this edition of Eyewitness News. Our next news tonight at 11. Now stay tuned for the live lottery drawing, followed by the CBS Evening News. For all of us here at Eyewitness News, good evening. Tonight, when Magnum's mystery writer aunt confuses her plots with reality, Magnum makes a sad discovery. Magnum B.I. at 9 on KDKA TV 2. <laughs> Hello to 65, but don't put your foot to the floor just yet. Also ahead, what has 18 names, five members, and a new music video? We'll take you to the hottest party in town for the answer. And in sports, a fight to the finish at the arena. Thanks a lot, Bob. Well, people at Top Charlie's were both armed and ready to rock to the music of 18 names tonight. The band chose today, March 18th, to release their debut album, Armed and Ready. They also cut a new video to the title song, which KDKA's own editor, Ron Bruno, produced and directed. <laughs> 18 Name Clubs, the new video, will get national airplay and take them on the road to success. That is it for this edition of Eyewitness News. Our next report tomorrow morning at 6.55. Now stay tuned for Barney Miller. From all of us here at Eyewitness News, good night.
Closed captioning of this newscast made possible by a grant from Landmark Savings. Tomorrow night, the race for the Final Four continues NCAA Basketball Regional Semifinals. Live at 9, Thursday on KDKA TV 2. Okay, roll sound. Roll it. The first day of filming came after two weeks of the stage crew preparing the stage for the filming of Armed and Ready. Four truckloads of video equipment were brought to the Palace Theater in Greensburg where the video would be made. The sound equipment that would synchronize the instruments, the vocals, and the video. The lighting equipment that would control the amount of light on stage and would create the spectacular light show. Camera equipment that would capture the moves of the band members and of lead singer Carla Goldman performing. The video was filmed at the Palace Theater, but the actual stage was built at a warehouse and had to be transported to the theater. That stage included a gigantic 8 by 10 foot sign that read 18 names. And you'll see that sign in the background of the video. We're going to try a run through this time, and then the next time after this, we're going to start rolling. Now, once everything was assembled for the stage at the theater, it was time to rock. Okay, ready to roll sound, roll sound. Here we go. All the filming for Armed and Ready was packed into two days under the direction of Ron Bruno with the help of director of photography Kevin Cable. Together, 18 names and Ron and Kevin collaborated for the idea of Armed and Ready and what they wanted the finished product to look like. At the group's request, the video was patterned after the Bon Jovi video, You Give Love a Bad Name. But of course, the 18 Names video had to maintain a certain sense of individuality. With that vision in mind, executive producer Chris Procopio, lighting designer Michael Steinmetz, and the stage construction crew of John Brammel and Rick Freeman prepared the stage for the video. They along with a live sound technician Gordon Scott, key grip Matt Schaefer, gaffer Russ McCormick, assistant camera Simon Mansis, stagehands Rick Wadzinick, Mike Urbanik, and John Gockenauer all together worked nearly non-stop for 48 hours. They perfected lighting, they perfected camera angles, sound effects, special effects, and the group's moves by filming takes and takes and more retakes until everything was perfect. For instance, when drummer Chris Procopio was being filmed for one of his segments, just about everything was perfect, except his face sported an alien hue because of the overhead lighting. Oh, there's some more up there. See, there's a lot of different colors. Oh, it looks like. Okay, first yeah. There we go. Stand by to boom. Kevin corrected it, and well, as you can see, Chris is no longer the purple person you knew a moment ago. Also getting filmed in some close-ups and armed and ready were guitarist Bill Baldwin, bass player Scott Bender, and keyboardist John Meaner. In one of the shots, each of them were required to jump from one landing on stage to another over a camera, all while performing. Many of these shots were filmed in between shots of lead singer Carla Goldman, who pretty much has the spotlight throughout the entire video. Carla was involved in seven different segments with seven different costume and makeup changes. That meant that after every series of the Carla takes, she had to return to the dressing room to get a redo from makeup artist Patty Procopio, hair artist Sandy Scott, and wardrobe person Joanne Baldwin. 
took about an hour each time Carla changed, so there was that hour that the band and the crew spent regrouping. Meanwhile, Carla seemed to be enjoying all that attention. This is fun. Let's do this every day. <laughs> While Carla was preparing for her next scene, other people were having lots of fun, too. Now here's me. Action pack. Here's something. Great so oh, far, Pee Wee. Doesn't matter. What's this like? What is this like? Wait. It's like burn off. Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean, burn off? But there were others who were busy getting their special effects in gear. Here, Russ McCormick is creating a smoke effect with a fog machine. He also used what's known as bee smoke, and he used dry ice to enhance the effect of the rays of light beaming down on the performers. In preparing for one of Carla's close-up shots, a dolly was assembled along with some track, so that when Carla is on stage moving from one side to the other, the camera smoothly captures all of her dance moves. Well, I think at some point you should back off so I've got you here so I can see oh, all right. gestures and stuff. Yeah. I see nothing but this. And, and While Carla is singing and dancing, she must also concentrate on staying within the range of the camera's close view without looking like she is really concentrating on it. On the second evening of filming, 18 Names invited some close friends and relatives to join them and be in the video. And needless to say, each one brought their own uh, sense of style to the video. These good-natured rockers put up with take after take after take after take after take until finally the director got exactly what he was looking for. All right, we got that one. And of course, the director wasn't perfect either. crowd started to have some fun of its own and it led to this shot. The giant contraption that the camera crew is sitting on is called a tulip crane. 18 names decided to use this device because of the unique perspective it gives the camera. Even Carla got a chance to look at what the camera was seeing as she took a ride on the crane. From the construction of the details from the awesome 18 name stage show to the massive light show to the moves and the power packed music of 18 names performing to just a moment we'll be right with you 